Now let's try and draw a circle and an arc. So to draw a circle, there's a circle tool on our toolbar here. Go ahead and click on that. And if we look down at the command window, it says specify center point. I'm going to click where I want to put the center of my circle. And I'm going to take ortho off. I still have that on from the previous video. And you can see as you move your mouse, you're changing the diameter of the circle. If we look at the command window, it says to specify the radius. And if we typed in a number right now, if we typed in 4, it would create a circle with a radius of 4. Sometimes we, we might want to type in something based on a diameter. And yes, we can easily calculate that. But there is an added convenience and an option that you're going to see here with the different ways of entering information into the command window. So right above specify radius, it says options. And it says diameter in blue with the letter D underlined. For our skateboards, we have to put in bolt holes that have a 3 16th of an inch diameter. Again, it would be really convenient if we could just go ahead and type 3 16th in rather than typing in the, the radius since that is the dimension we're given. Again, it's a simple calculation, but this is just a nice feature. So let's go ahead and type in the letter D and hit enter. And now the prompt switch to specify diameter. So if we type in 3 slash 16, hit enter, we now have a 3 16 inch diameter circle that appears. And again, we can check that with our dimension. And instead of choosing linear, we're going to choose diameter. We could click on the circle. And we have diameter of 3 16 Let's say we want to make an arc, though. And an arc is just a segment of a circle. There's another tool for an arc right here, right above the circle tool. And the first thing it's prompting us to do is to specify the start point. And again, take note of the options that are available. We don't have to specify the start point first. So I click my first point. Now let's say I want to make a semicircle. So it's asking us to specify the through point, but instead I want to specify the end point. So I'm going to type in E, hit enter, and I'm going to type at 5 comma 0. And now it's asking for a center point, or I can specify a radius. So what I'm going to do instead is specify a radius for this. So I'm going to type in R. And I can change the radius of the arc. And it's really kind of difficult to do with your, uh, your cursor. If you're just doing something rough, um, by by feel basically you can use this but I recommend always typing in dimensions so to specify the radius if our diameter was 5 and we want it to be a semicircle the radius would be 5 over 2 so 2.5 and there we have our semicircle now you also notice that it created a U shape automatically. It did not give us an option to go in an upside down U shape. That's because DraftSight creates arcs and circles in a counterclockwise direction. So if I wanted this shape to be the other way around and to look like an upside down U, I would have had to start with the right point and specified the left point as the end point because that would require that we go counterclockwise to get there.